it's Louise, and I'm back for another swipe extravaganza. And the motivation for me learning this, uh, besides it's a new technique and it's good to know new things so you have more of a toolbox that you can pull tools from when you're doing uh, paintings, is my niece in Colorado is uh, has moved into a new home and she has a few walls that she needs to have some paintings on. So she asked me to give her hand. And of the things I showed her, she was most interested in swipes, which is something I didn't have in my arsenal. So that's the whole history of what I'm doing here. The concept is that I'm going to do two swipes that will lead into each other. Um, and we'll go from there. So anyway, I've learned a lot in the last few swipes videos that I've done. Um, the first thing is I have thin down my paints a lot. This is much thinner than what I've been doing, working with. That's my black base. My color lineup is I have a golden bronze here. And that's just running nicely off the stick. And this is, uh, it's about 75 degrees in this room today, so hopefully it won't get too hot. This is a 24 karat gold which I'm going to use sparingly because I did a practice swipe on a canvas board this morning and and this thing took over. Pearl, golden pearl, golden iridescent gold, golden Nicolazzo gold, and this is a blue concoction. I'll try to figure out what I have in this when I put it in the description box. So with that, let me get the canvas flooded with the black. Oh, and the black is... I've got more GAC 800 in this combination here, and I'll list that below. Uh, but this has... Uh, that exciting and it's not necessary to go on regular speed <laughs> so the last color I just laid down was golden's iridescent pearl this here is a blue my blue concoction it seems like all colors end up in the blue tub <laughs> 
This here is my Deco Art 24 karat gold that I keep telling myself I'm going to be sparing on, but I just can't seem to help myself. I always go overboard, and this stuff does sell up like crazy and has a tendency to take over. My last color here is Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. As I'm working on my edges here with the paper towel, I'm realizing I really need to get more practice with this because the tendency for the paper towel is to actually pull the paint away from the canvas and leave me with a bald canvas. And during this, you'll see that I have to lay down a little bit of extra base coat to compensate. And it's right about in here that I realized I really like the idea of having some gaps between the swipes, especially since I'm using both the paper towel and the uh, plastic plexiglass sheet. It provides an opportunity to alternate tools and effects on the canvas, so it's kind of cool. And then, as you see, as we go along here, I end up having to create smaller swiping tools to get in between some of the gaps but it's kind of growing on me i like the uh, the space between the legs So it's right about in this section I realized that there are some smaller gaps that I don't have a swiping tool the right size to fit between. So I cut them down to size and I actually ended up making several different very small slim swiping tools that work out really well in between the gaps.
So right in here, I'm realizing that even some of the cut down swiping tools are not small enough. So I take some of my swiping tools and cut them down even more. And it gets to the point where I'm using a little swiper that's about 1 16th of an inch wide to get in between the gaps. Now I know I said earlier I like the space between the gaps, but there were some spaces that were very stark and I wanted to just break them up just a little bit. this little guy. I'm not hating this. where I am. Kind of like it. Alright, so I'm back to do a second swipe before it gets too dark. What I want to do this time is have black in the middle as my swipe color. Just leave it the black base. Maybe put a little extra down. And then I'm going to use my other colors to circle around it. And see if that gets me any more cells. For the first color I'm going to put down, I'm going to put Golden's gold down first. In my little swoop pattern. So I'm going to pick up the pace here and double time through this section, but basically all I'm doing is laying down two rows of color, lines of color, around the base in the middle, and I'll add a little base to the middle before I start swiping. I'm trying to see if I can get more cells out of it this way. So one of the things I talked about here was how grateful I was that my paints were nicely thinned down for the, these two. And I think that's a learning I made over the course of the last few tries at swipes. But it definitely helps with these things, these paints being much thinner. So here I'm just going to call out the colors as I start laying them down. And first I have the blue after the pearl. And even though I laid down only a little bit of blue, a lot really came through in the swipes. And the next color is my favorite color to take over the canvas, and that's the 24 karat gold. And it's like somebody needs to stop me already. I can't, I can't control myself. <laughs> and then next after that, I have my Nicolazzo gold. And I really like the way these things are flowing, if I haven't mentioned that once or ten times. And 
And then what I do is I just put a little extra black in the middle to make sure I have some good swiping ground to pull from. And once again, this is just the base coat. And we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna point out here when I put the paper towel down, I'm trying to get it right in the black and then pull the black over the top of the other colors and pull it over to the edge of the canvas. And yes, I mentioned breathing is a good thing because at this point I stopped breathing. I have been breathless throughout most, most of this swiping and I have to remember to breathe. I will point out here, I am using my right hand again and I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna become ambidextrous by the end of all this. And notice when I get to the edge of the canvas, I let it fall off the end, loop, just to make sure that it has full coverage. So I start to notice my paints are going in one direction, so I realize that I don't think my canvas is level. That's one thing to make sure before you start is to level your canvas, which I usually do, but this time I didn't, and I could tell. So I just put the popsicle sticks underneath there just to make sure it was leveled up, and then continued on. And I really like the idea here of alternating between the document protector swiper and the paper towel. It just gives a couple different effects, different results, and kind of blends together nicely. It was in this section that I was trying to find the color underneath. So I had to kind of dig for it. But there it is. I found some color. Yay! 
<laughs> I know it's there. We just got to get to it. Crazy painting. Something else I'd like to point out about swipes is an observation as compared to flip cups or open cups or pearl pours or cloud over pours, all that stuff, is that with swipes, you actually have a lot of interaction with exactly what your intention is in the painting versus the other fluid art that you just kind of go with the flow. You pick out your color palette and then have an idea in your mind what you want to do. And then between the tilting or the spinning or whatever else, the paint is going to help decide what is exactly going to happen. In the swipes, you really have some deliberate intention and have a lot more control over it, which, you know, sometimes is good and sometimes is not so good. It just depends on what you're going for. But it's fun sometimes to actually have a little control over what's happening. So in here, all I'm doing is pulling some of the black base into the colors just to add some definition and some character to the swipe. And I'm kind of liking it. And it's right around here. I'm realizing, man, this has turned out pretty good in my opinion. I'm liking this guy. This is like, where did this come from? I'm going to make it disappear. It doesn't look like it belongs. Holy cats, I like this guy. Oh yeah. I think I'm done. That's where we are. Let's give it a torch and I think that's all she wrote and I love, I love these little extras I put in here. Just a little, just a little embellishment. I like this one. <sighs> I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Yes. So this is the concept of how these two would lay offset from each other on a wall. And this is what I'm trying to work toward for my niece's project. So I think I'm getting there. So I hope you guys enjoyed these two videos. Maybe took something away from it. I certainly have learned a lot. And uh, I once again want to say thanks for stopping by. And. Take care.